Hi there, beautiful souls. I'm Rachel Skoltok, Angel Medium. I'm here with you with the angel message for the week ahead. Today is the with the week of the 22nd of July. So this is valid for you for the whole week. And the angels have some really important messages for you this week. And one of them is to hold on to light, hold on to hope. Because I know it's really easy that when things get a bit stressful or you have something big happen in your life or there's big kind of depressing things going on in the world that you can start to feel like there's a cloud over your head and as if you can't see hope you can't see what you want coming to fruition you start to feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and that's because in a way you are you know whenever we encounter fear or negativity or something happens we can take that negativity on like clouds and it can sit in our energy field all around our head, neck and shoulders. It can even make you have a stiff neck, headaches, feel fatigued, feel drained. And you can start to feel like I can't connect with joy. I can't connect with hope. I can't connect with my angels. I, I'm starting to feel like I'm not going to get what I want. Or maybe you're looking for a job or you're trying to find your way through a challenge. And the angel's message to you this week is hold on to hope. The light is still there, even when you can't see it. And if you have to, you know, when I feel like that, and it's very rare nowadays, but if I do, the first thing I do, if I've got a candle, is I'll light it. If you haven't got a candle, put a lamp on. Do something to affirm that light is still there. And then clear your energy. Get those gray clouds and cut those cords to the situations people, relationships, past and present that you've encountered that you may have absorbed the energy from. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world at the moment where people are misusing energy and it can be a bit like hypnosis. You know, like you watch the news and you come away believing that, that you know, oh God, this is awful and feeling like that's all there is and it can fill up this part of your head, like your, your third eye, your crown chakra, your brow chakra, your mind, it's all very powerful. But if you feel like, you know, it's like um, someone's saying, this is the way it is, this is the way it is, and you've got a helmet on your head, and it's like a, a virtual reality, it's telling you this, then it's stealing your own power to think and create and be positive, and in replacing it with another way of thinking. Now, you don't have to do that. You don't have to accept that. And the angels will help you to clear the energy so that you can connect to your source, to your soul, to your angels and guides who are with you and be protected by the light from that lower energy. And then you don't have to take on that heaviness anymore, you know, because it can build up and it can make you feel like, you know, nothing good is going to happen anymore. Everything's wrong in my life. You've got to change that. And you are the one that can activate that change just by making very small decisions like I'm not going to watch that anymore or I'm going to light a candle I'm going to put on some good music I'm going to think about joyful things I'm going to call in my angels I'm going to do a meditation off Rachel's angel library to cleanse my energy and you, I promise you'll start to feel better so that's a big part of the message for today but let's shuffle the cards and see what else the angels have in store for you this week um, there's always, always light, no matter what, in the darkness. So this week we're working with Archangel Michael, as always, and Archangel Raphael, the healing angel. So Raphael's energy is a beautiful emerald green. If you're feeling unwell, wrap yourself in emerald green, visualize it, even wear it if you've got something green, and then you can call on Archangel Raphael to help you, to heal you, to help you. And you can do that even for your loved ones, if you've got a child or a family member that's not well a friend, wrap them in the green light. And Archangel Michael, of course, carries that vibrant, flaming sword of, of light that disconnects us from that dark, lower energy that creates these clouds of fear and convinces us that all is dark and all is not well, and even can make you see yourself in a negative light. So we call in Archangel Michael to use his sword to cut away those lower energies, to disconnect us from toxic cords that are draining your energy, that are taking um, your hope and light away so that you can reclaim that energy. And we're doing a workshop this week on Zoom um, to do teach you how to do that and 
to do that for you. We're going to do a very intensive, big energy cleanse, cutting cords, severing soul ties, which are like cords on steroids. And you know the thought when you just can't let something go and you feel like that person's got under my skin, you know, that's a soul tie. So we're going to clear that. And we're also going to clear some of that mass hypnosis energy as well. The angels have told me that's what we're doing. All right. Okay, so Archangel Michael, thank you for being with us today. Archangel Raphael, what message do you have for everybody who watches and listens to this session? By the way, you can get an audio version of this um, on my website. I, I put the video up and I'll put an audio in case you don't want to just sit and watch. So it's good to see the cards though, right? <laughs> so I'm pulling three cards and we're going to take one from the Archangel Michael deck. And let's see. Oh, hang on. Okay. So much, so much, so much. All right. So first up, we have this one. This is absolutely perfect and ideal for this week. Look at what we just spoke about. You can't make this stuff up. That's my new um, mantra. Uh, so Archangel Michael is showing this big black cloud around you and he's guiding you with his sword held high. I wish I could give you a close up, close up of that. Um, he's sailing a boat and he's got his companion dog with him and the boat is coming out of the darkness into the light. You can see this glimpse of, of um, blue sky here. This is his way of saying, keep going, keep focusing on the angels, call on Archangel Michael, keep focusing on the good in your life, be grateful and also visualizing good coming in your life. Don't let go of hope, don't let go of your dreams. And the, the storm will soon be over. You are, you're sailing out of that darkness and you're soon going to be in light. Things are going to get easier. Things are going to clear up. You know that song I can see clearly now, the rain has gone. That's what's playing in my, in my ear. So Archangel Michael's there to look after you. Call on him. Come and do the class with me on Friday. Um, I'll put the details in the comments or the captions so you can look that up. And this is what we're doing this week. We're steering out of a very stormy, dark, heavy, negative time. So if you've been having personal challenges or if you're affected by world events, like, you know, I know so many of you are light workers, you're sensitive, you're empathic, you feel very strongly, and but you can also absorb some of those vibes and take it on. And it's okay to care, but don't carry. Don't let it... Um, bring you down because the angels need you to shine your light and you can help other people to shine theirs and you can help to change the world if you are um looking after yourself right and you can listen to you what your purpose is get your guidance and help others and i know many of you are already doing that all right the guidance card is archangel jophiel now jophiel is the angel of beauty but in a way, she helps us to connect with what gives us that light, what gives us hope. So we've had this message before recently where they're saying, OK, do what lights you up. You know, is it a walk in nature? Is it listening to beautiful music? Is it laughing at a comedy show? What is it that lights you up? We need that stuff to keep going. Um, it kind of it's fuel for the soul you know um so we don't just have to do things just because they have to be done or because we're you know working on ourselves it's so that we can enjoy this time and it's very precious that we've been given a lifetime to live and your time on earth you know it's over in a flash but so we've got to be in the moment we've got to enjoy it while we're here we can't be always thinking you know dwelling in 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 doom so this card is also asking you to make decisions. So Joe Fiel is the angel of hope, beauty, helps us to think positively, turn on the light in your mind. Just imagine, click. I want to think positive thoughts. I don't want to think negative thoughts. Um, it's time for you to release yourself from the shackles, the cords, the energies that have been pulling you back and down. You know, sometimes we take on other people's limitations and blocks. Have you noticed that? that we can sometimes, you know, be around people that believe a certain way. And you might be going, well, that's not really true for me. I don't really believe that. But their beliefs are quite strong and it sort of seeps into your consciousness. So here you've got to release yourself from the cords, the fears, the limitations, the past, 
anything that has been holding you back and holding you down because you know when you're not your real self you don't feel like your normal happy shiny um, self and so you need to detox your energy and detox from those things that are holding you back here in this card it's like a doorway is opened and you haven't realized it there's an opportunity about to be offered to you or has been offered to you and perhaps you've just gone the the you know sometimes we we get a bit trapped in our own negativity and you can go oh well nothing ever works out so we don't grasp those opportunities when they come up so watch out for inspired ideas um people giving you offers that are real and genuine right okay we're not we're not um talking about scammy stuff we're just talking about okay you know somebody shows you something that you can do and you know it's it's worthy it's getting you on in alignment with your path and your purpose so there are decisions to be made to keep going in the direction of the light there's decisions to be made where you might have gone okay i realized that isn't working out for me but i'm going to be start doing that so we've moved out of that sort of pause do you remember we had a couple of weeks ago the two cards that kept coming up that said you're in an awakening, you're in this moment of just waiting for the, the idea to drop in or there's something that had been delayed. All of a sudden now we're moving forward, but what's going to help you is decisions. Decision making is manifesting. Did you ever realize that? Like sometimes we're waiting for the universe to tell us what to do, but the minute you make a decision, things start moving. Things start moving. And you've got to follow up that decision by action really important now the outcome card is really really interesting so one we have this angel look at that gorgeous card this is archangel ariel it's the number eight which is about abundance now it could be that you are studying you find a new book perhaps it's on spiritual things maybe it's a course that's been calling you maybe it's a class it's like study is coming up with this so it's like you make a decision and then you've got to learn something new but it's not kind of like oh god you know sitting through something like we did at school when we were waiting for the bell to go this is something that is sparkly and, and enjoyable look at that sparkle coming out of his book the angel is pointing to um, the lesson so this is spiritual knowledge or knowledge that's going to help you with your life purpose your soul path things that are really important to you soul path stuff isn't all spiritual it's things you've come here to do be an experience right in the physical and sometimes we don't even realize you know we get led to something and we get all scared but it it could be just something like going on a beautiful hike to somewhere that you've never been before or it could be someone inviting you to an occasion and you're scared but you go and you enjoy it and you meet like-minded people you know we never know where we're being guided on our paths so with we'll a really trust and listen to that intuition so um even if you feel intimidated if it's training learning maybe starting something brand new you can do it i can hear the angels it's like they've got what are those things with bells like tambourines you can do it you can do it <laughs> So they're cheering you on they're cheering you on okay so i've got two cards for you to choose your message so let me know ask the angels angels what guidance do you have for me about and then choose whether you want the one with all the angel wings on it and the sunset or whether you want archangel michael look at that i'm going to turn the cards around all right which one have you chosen? Let's start with the angel wings. This is Raphael. I knew he was going to turn up. I knew it. We called him and he is here. This is beautiful. One of my favorite cards in the deck because it's got dolphins and I love dolphins. I love dolphins. I've even got a tattoo of one on my shoulder. Um, and Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, is standing on this beautiful rock at the beach. The water is all calm behind him. The sun and the dolphins are jumping out. The sun is setting. Now, this is an ace. This is a new beginning, a healing beginning. Now, you might be starting your healing journey or starting your journey as a healer or starting to heal something. It can be a new beginning in another way. We already heard about a new beginning with this card. This card. And um, this can also indicate romance loving relationships and partnerships also if you're going into partnership with somebody doing a joint venture um but what it definitely shows us is number one joy 
Dolphins represent joy. They also remind us to breathe. You know, when we hold our breath, we're blocking our guidance, our intuition, we're blocking everything. And this means that spiritual insights are coming to you to help you. So call on Raphael to help you with whatever you're struggling with right now. And if you chose the Archangel Michael card, the message is believe and trust. And I think this is for everybody, regardless. Believe and trust. Another indication, look at the symbolism. We've got the trees and the darkness and he's breaking away from the forest and he's coming with his sword out into this beautiful scene here. Blue skies, sparkling water, coming out of the darkness into the light. You're leaving behind problems, challenges, a hard time. Collectively, we're doing this too. We're, we have to keep focusing on light, love, peace, harmony, unity, connection with all. We are all one. Don't matter what the other person looks like, we are all one. And we have to treat each other with respect and love. So the message on here is um, believe and trust. Trust that things are going to come good, they're going to come better. The angels are sort of saying to you, it's like they're shaking the tambourine again. They're saying that you need to pay attention to this. Because instead of just saying, oh, I wonder if it's going to happen, believe it's going to happen. Even if a tiny, weeny percentage of you doesn't believe it or a big percentage doesn't believe it, the more you believe it, the angels need your belief. It's like oil for the machine. It starts to, it starts to happen according to your belief and what you believe you create. So if you've got any negative beliefs going on, we just did that in angel communication program. We did the angelic belief reset where we cleared out all of those negative limiting beliefs that were holding everybody back from their goals, dreams, and desires. So we want to cancel the negative beliefs and start putting some powerful positive beliefs in there. All right. I'm so happy that you're here. If you would like a private reading with me, I definitely do those half hour and one hour. You can go to my website, rachelscholder.com and book in. If you want to join me for the Releasing Energy Thieves event this Friday 26th at 10 a.m. Sydney time, 8 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. That's on Thursday for the U.S. people. And you can, you get lifetime access to the replay. We're going to do a huge, big cord cutting energy clearing. And you're going to learn how to do it for yourself. So if you're a healer and you want to help your clients, I want to show you how to do angelic cord cutting. If you just would like that skill for your own personal use, it's a really powerful way to work. Um, I'm going to show you how to get rid of cords for good. So join me for that. Link in um, comments on the caption or in my bio page. <laughs> You'll find it or just send me a message and I'll send you the link. All right. Have a beautiful, wonderful week and keep the light shining. Keep the light burning. <laughs>